Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that we all love to talk about and that's purpose. I think so often when we hear the word purpose, we freak out a little, like we worry and we wonder if we're pursuing God's purpose for our lives. We wonder if we have a purpose. We wonder if we're really doing what we're called to do. And before I get into the whole discussion about what your unique purpose is and how to find it, I really want to bust a bit of a myth that I think we've all been believing. I believe we all have unique giftings and a purpose that we can walk out on earth, but before I talk about that, I really want to talk talk to you about eternal purpose. I believe that God has called us as Christians to live with eternal purpose. And that isn't necessarily confined to one thing, to one career, um, to one passion or anything like that. It's a way of life that God has called us to live. And there are a few different areas that I think God has called us to walk out an eternal purpose. And that's in our relationship with him, how we are called to love God, to know him and serve him in our relationship with other people and also with other Christians who can encourage us and spur us on in faith. And I think part of our eternal purpose is also to become more like Jesus. And I think in doing that, we are called to point people to Jesus and to be a light in the world. Knowing that you have an eternal purpose changes things. It completely changes the game. Instead of living life for yourself and by yourself, you're able to live your life for God and you're able to live your life with other people. And if you're worried about your purpose, be encouraged that you've already got it and that as you pursue God each and every single day, you're walking it out. As Christians, ultimately, we should be pointing to Jesus Christ. And this is something that we can do every single day, whether we're at uni or whether we're at college, whether you're in the workplace or you're just hanging out at your local coffee shop or boarding the bus in the morning. But here's the thing, our creative or loving God has created you unique. You don't look like the person next to you and you don't have the same desires that they do. And God wants to use your natural giftings and talents to bring glory to him and to bless other people. Maybe you're currently studying at college or university and you're studying something you really don't like. Or maybe you're working a nine to five that you have no passion for and you find it hard to rock up to work each morning. I can relate. And you're wondering, hey God, is there more for me? I know you wanna do something you love and I know you want God to use you in amazing ways, but you're probably wondering wondering, Elise, how can I find out my purpose? How can I take that next step? Well, I want to share with you five steps to finding your purpose. So let's dive into them. Number one, pray. Honestly, before you do anything, I encourage you to spend time with God. I encourage you to pray and ask him to realign your thoughts and your mind and your plans with his plans because he's a good God and his plans for you are greater than the plans that you could even imagine. Um, this is something that I did in my life a few years ago when I was really struggling to figure out what my purpose was and I was really struggling to sort of make a decision around some big life things. And I remember praying to God every Every single day I would pray earnestly every single day God show me I want to do your work I want to do what you want me to do show me and lead me because I know and I knew that God is a good God and I knew that the place that he would take me would be better than what I had and here's the thing I guess you might be thinking Elise do you know what but how do I know that what God has for me is better because he says so in his word. I guess so often we can freak out because um, we've been holding on to things or we hold on to um, maybe even things we don't even love or we're doing things we don't love, but we haven't given it over to God and gone, God, I want you to do what you will with my life. And I promise you, I've seen it in my own life and sometimes I've had to let go of stuff that I thought I wanted to do, but God has shown me a plan that is so much more amazing and that it, it has been more amazing than I could ever imagine or desire. So I encourage you to first go to God. God will earnestly reward you if you seek him. I encourage you to seek him today. He's a good father. He's not going to let you down. His plan Plans will be better than what you could even imagine. Number two, what do you love? What makes you jump out of the bed in the morning? What makes you excited? What's something that you could talk about for hours on end? Honestly, a few things in my life spring to mind. And I'm sure that when I said those questions, a few things sprung to yours as well. I encourage you to start writing down a list of the things you really love. And why not even ask your friends and family what they think you love as well and what they see you get excited about as well. Oftentimes those things can be the clue to where your passion and where your purpose lies. Number three, what are you naturally good at? Have you taken the time to actually think about that lately? I think sometimes people can think, you know, oh, that's so vain to think about what I'm good at or to say what I'm, what I'm good at. But do you know what? What you're good at 
It's something that you're naturally gifted with. And if God has given you those gifts, it would be remiss of you not to use them. So I encourage you to think about that. Is it music? Is it sport? Uh, is it art? Is it creativity? Is it that you're really good at organizing things? Is it that you have a real knack for something in particular like technology? Um, is it that you have a way with people and that you're really caring? What are those things that you're good at? Even ask your friends and family again and ask them to tell you. I'm sure they'll be able to, be able to give you a list of things as well. I encourage you to start thinking about it and making a list because those things can point to your purpose. Number four, how do you want to make an impact? What's something that you have a burning desire for? What's an area that you really want to see change for? Um, what's a sort of person or a type of, you know, a demographic that you really care about? Do you care a lot about children? Do you care about women? Do you care about young mums? What's an area that God is moving your heart for? Have a think about those questions and start writing down your answers. Number five, dream and dream big dreams. God wants to expand your dreams, but I encourage you to start today by dreaming. Grab out a notebook and a pen, head to the beach, head to the mountains, find a spot in your room with a cup of tea, whatever and wherever you like to go, do it and spend some time writing and thinking and pondering and listening to music and actually dreaming. Dream dreams for your life. Um, think about where you want to be. Think about the things that you love. I encourage you not to rush or set a deadline, but just take some time to write down your thoughts and feelings. And then something that I really love to do is to grab a friend and to sit down with them and to share my dreams with them and for them to share their dreams with me. I love doing that because it's a space, you know, with someone that you trust where you can workshop ideas, where they can go, hey, do you know what? That's great. I see that in you and you can do the same in them. So I encourage you to write that down to dream in your own time and then to get together with a friend or two and to help each other expand your dreams and to see and call out the potential in one another. I know that God wants to do something incredible through your life. Just let him and make space for this stuff. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed diving into five ways to find out your purpose and it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe below and also share this video with your friends. And one more thing, if you could comment something below, tell me something you're passionate about. I want to get to know you and what your purpose is too. All right, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.